Hey and welcome, I'm your boy Solo. In this video, I'll be going over how to add a co-host to your stream using Discord and OBS. Before I waste any more time, let's jump into it. If you're looking to have two people on stream, a dual stream, a guest, co-host, or just host another streamer on your stream, I'll be going over how to set that up using OBS and Discord. There's lots of ways you can do it. This is just one way that I do it, and it's one of the easiest ways I've found so far. For this, we only need two things, and that's OBS and Discord. So to start, we can just open up both of these programs. Now that everything's loaded up, you can get the person or streamer co-host boss to call you on Discord. This will give you sound and video you can capture in OBS. We're just going to wait till we get the call from the master and owner here. Once you have the video call started and you can hear them, click the pop out window, which should be right here. This will help us add it to OBS. Okay, let's switch over to OBS and add a window capture. So we will just go down here in the sources, click the add, and we want to click window capture. We're going to name this one here guest. Click OK. From the drop down, we want to select discord.exe slash nil. That is actually the chat window. And this is the owner and um, just that's the owner king. That's the ruler here. We're just going to click OK. I use the pop out window so when it closes it won't capture anything else in the background. It will just go to a black screen until you hit the pop out. That's great and that's how I want it so when the call is over it won't show my discord page or anything in it. After that all you need to do is make it the size you desire and crop it and place it where you like. To do that we're going to push control, make it a little smaller. Now we have this here of the discord window open to get rid of that we push and hold alt and we want to crop the video into here. We're going to crop the video down to here and we're going to crop the window video to here. Then we're going to click control again and just size it down to the size that you're going to want the camera in your scene. And you're going to want to make sure that you drag it down to where your camera is as well so that it's not covering your alerts, your browsers, your chat, or anything else that you may be capturing that you want in the background. So we're just going to place it here where we like. So if they're already moved where you like them, that they best suit you. Or you can add a webcam borders or anything else that you like to the scene. After that, you'll be done. So we're just going to click in here and we're going to add an image. We're going to add an existing one and we're going to add the webcam border. We're just going to size the webcam border to fit. Just a tiny bit more. And there we go. Now just one more thing. We're going to take that border down. We're going to put it here by guest. We're going to hold shift and we're going to click these here too. And we're going to put them in a group. So we're going to call this here group guest. So that it all moves together. So this will be one thing now. So when we move it on screen, we don't have to worry about accidentally clicking the border. Sorry about that. The boss left. The boss left the boss is off the show we can do what we want now she left but that's as easy as it is guys after that you can just use your imagination you can add more than one discord call at the same time you can go in a conference if you have three you can capture three windows and you can just crop them out like this here when you pop them out so it's pretty easy to do that you can do this with skype as well you just have to capture skype and crop the window so it doesn't have everything in it and that's as easy as it is to get someone else on your stream this is any streamer anybody that you can discord call so the it's pretty much unlimited who you can call. So if you have another streamer and you want them on stream, this is the easiest way to add someone else to your stream and have real time voice. It'll come through your desktop and it's pretty easy to set up. It's just get them to call you, add the window and that's it. When it closes now, when the call closes down, I'll give it a, I'll call, I'll close the call here. It'll just go to a black screen instead of showing your things in your OBS, your like your sensitive information, the things in your group, maybe private chats. It'll just go to a black screen. I find that very convenient. That's how I like it most. But that's as easy as it is to set up and get going. Um, I would do a couple quick tests uh, to make sure the sound and video are okay. Then you can go live. If you think I forgot or left something out, feel free to leave it in the comments below. But if you like or found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and get subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching, guys.